Hey everybody, welcome to Heat My Shorts. Don't forget to hit that like button, it really helps us out. Check it out, you know what that is? We've got pepper seeds started. Um, I can't tell, couldn't tell you off the top of my head exactly what it is, but some of them have definitely sprouted. The majority of the seeds that have sprouted are actually Silver Creek Pepper Company pepper seeds. Um, Pockmark Peach, I know that two of those, those are over on the far side over there, the far left or right, depending on whether it's mirrored right now or not. I think it is mirrored, so I'm not going to try to figure that out. Over there. <laughs> um, few from Pepper North as well. I know that one of them was the Yellow Reaper and the Golden Reaper as well. So we have some hot peppers sprouted already. That is super excited. Sorry, super exciting. We started them a couple weeks earlier this year, just to hopefully get a little bit more production of peppers, so we'll see how that goes. We'll keep you updated as well. This is, I guess, pepper update number one of 2022. I had to think about what year it was there. Um, but anyways, a little review for you this morning. Um, this is the second and final tincture in the review, or sorry, in the lineup, um, of tinctures from Silver Creek in the FUD collection. A little bit of marbles in my mouth this morning. I'm a little bit jittery, a little bit nervous. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's Tincture Tuesday and we're going to be doing some tincture drops. Um, so as I said, this is the second one in the FUD collection. This is mouth-watering watermelon. I believe that's how they pronounce it anyway. I like the, uh, the David Martin signature pepper with the headband there. That's that's very fitting. He's always wearing his headband, and I dig that. I really admire David Martin. He's seems like such a kind-hearted, gentle person. I've never met him in person, but we've chatted a little bit from time to time on uh, Messenger and whatnot, and even just in comment sections, and he always seems like such a nice guy. This one's got his signature on it, so that is pretty cool for sure. And there is the Silver Creek Pepper Company logo that I like so much. It's very simple, and I don't know, it just looks classy. It just looks nice. No, no focus on that, not me. I don't know. Simple pepper plant with a couple peppers growing on it, a few leaves, just very simple. Looks nice. I like it a lot. And I've, I've really grown to like these blue bottles. I, but I'll be honest, I did not like the blue bottles at first because you can't see your tincture, you can't see the color of it. But so what? You can see it when you bring your dropper out and you can judge your drop size by how much is in your dropper. You can kind of get to know it that way. So I've really grown to like these blue bottles. I've always liked the blue glass, but uh, the, just the, the use of the blue glass on the tincture bottle took uh, some getting used to for me, but I really dig it. So give it a good shaky shake. Make sure we get all the oils or whatever capsaicin oils mixed up nicely in there yeah i'm like uh i'm like shaking a little bit um it's tincture tuesday we're gonna do we do what we can do, do to uh keep our tolerances up as uh and andy at goot juice has kind of started the tincture tuesday thing up again and i really like that i've been missing our tuesday tincture hangouts and uh maybe someday we'll get some zoom chats or some, something rigged up just for meeting to together but uh for now we're just kind of doing our thing on tuesday and keeping it going that way and i'm stoked about that um all right i haven't told you about this tincture yet it's mouth-watering watermelon so obviously it's watermelon flavor it is also jay's peach ghost scorpion it looks like crossed with reaper and a yellow brain strain i'll show you how it's written here the top top paragraph there. Jay's Peach goes X Reaper and Yellow Brain Strain. So that's what that, that's what that tells me. The first pepper is a Jay's Peach Ghost crossed with a Reaper and then also Yellow Brain Strain pe peppers. I might be wrong. I actually didn't, didn't text anyone to confirm this. I'm just kind of guessing, I guess. So my apology if that's incorrect. To place an order, um, the last I had heard, I mean, I guess it was a few weeks ago now, three weeks ago, they had a couple or a few of the sets left for sale. And they, I, I think they, that they wanted me to let you know that. Um, to place an order, message them directly on Facebook or Instagram. They ex 
except Venmo, Cash App, and PayPal. So I'm not sure what Venmo is, but that's just what they've written on the post for this uh, product lineup re release. So um, without further delay, let's open this up. There's nothing in the dropper now. Let's give it a smell. Oh yeah, I'm smelling watermelon for sure. Also smelling peppers. Okay. Show you the color of it in there. Nice orange, orange color, a slight brownish tinge to it there. So, from Silver Creek Pepper Company, this is mouth-watering watermelon. Keep my shorts. Mmm. Really nice watermelon flavor. And then the burn creeps in there. Straight to the back of the throat, almost takes your breath away. Oh, and there's the pepper flavor. It takes a second for that pepper flavor to creep in. It was all watermelon up front. Very smooth, very mouth-watering. And now that's dissipated. Now I'm stuck with just pepper flavor. Now I couldn't specifically tell you that that is, you know, Peach Ghost, Scorpion Cross with Reaper and Yellow Brainstream, but it just has that super hot flavor. Slight, I'd say, yeah, slight red pod flavor but also that citrus oh sorry <laughs> a little citrusy um i don't even know what that was a little citrusy um notes in there as well as well that was like almost a hiccup i don't even know what that was a stutter i guess a spice stutter that's a new one oh it's really going for the throat now i'm at hmm I'm at a 4 out of 10 right now. I think it's maybe still climbing. Maybe. No. No, it seems to have chilled out now. Not chilled out, but leveled off. It's not an endorphin rush, but it's just kind of hanging out there now. Hanging out at a 4 out of 10. Yeah, tip of the tongue, back of the throat, hard at the back of the throat. That's an intense burn at the back of the throat. Kind of a medium tickle on the tip of the tongue. And on the roof of the mouth, too. Slight tickle on the roof of the mouth. Medium tickle on the roof of the mouth. Mostly throat burn. Your average habanero consuming chili head... Well, for that amount I just did, that would probably be like an 8 out of 10. A drop? A drop would probably put you to, put to a, a, a 5 or a 6 out of 10 for your average habanero consuming chili head. If you're new or sensitive to spicy foods, like if jal jalapeno is hot to you, um, I wouldn't recommend this stuff. It's going to take you for a ride. You might love it, you might hate it. I can't say how you will respond to it because I was already consuming habaneros when I got into tinctures and I got it to a 6 out of 10 from one single drop. That was a good ride. Yeah, That's actually one of the very first videos on this channel. First video, first spice video that was all about um, remote, remote control vehicles. Actually, yeah, you can see one of them right there, my little drift car. But anyways, that one's got me sweating quite a bit from my face there. I've got some wild eyebrows today. Look at that one. It's like... Right there. That's hilarious. <laughs> I'm wild, what can I say? That's a good tincture. Thank you very much, David, Megan, and Rachel. That's a really good co collaboration. I'm really glad that you did that. And that I got to be a part of reviewing this, of um, having 
set of these, reviewing them, and uh, yeah, having them to, do, to enjoy here at home. Mix them in with our coffee, and our ice creams, even in with a hot sauce if it's not hot enough. Drop some tincture in there. Boom. <sighs> I'm going to have a hangout with Ma Maggie back here. It's kind of mandatory. We didn't have a very good hangout with her on yet yesterday's video because she was kind of doing her own thing while we were munching on the pretzels, right? So, let's have a little hangout with Maggie, hey? Oh, wow. Hey, how's Maggie doing? Oh, pardon me, a little pepper burp there. How's Maggie? Can I have a pound it? You pound it? Hey, high five. Maggie, high five. Almost. High five. Come on. Come on, Maggie. Good girl. High five. Give me a high five. Give me the paw. Pound it. Pound it. High five. Good girl. Good girl, Maggie. She's got a tough life, you know. Hey. You're such a good girl. Don't you want to wake up at all? Me? Hey? What about... This. No, she's sleepy. She says no thank you. Don't make me bury you in toys. Actually, she'll leave if I do that. <laughs> hey, bury you in toys? You're such a good girl. You're such a good dog. <laughs> we have so much fun with this doggy. <laughs> She's such a good girl. Big sigh. So anyways, um, not too much else to talk about here. Um, I hope everybody has an awesome day today. If you're having a tough time, take a step back, breathe, and just be kind to each other. Um, we're all fighting battles in life. Everyone is. Whether you, real, you realize it or not. Some people hide their battles better than others. And everybody has different types of battles. But we are all fighting battles. So just be kind to each other. And I know that. You know, support each other while we're fighting our battles. If somebody seems like they're going, going through a tough time. You know, be kind to them. Reach out to them. Show them com compassion not aggression and hostility. We need more compassion in the world, more love, more friendship. Um, I saw so somebody posted a meme not long ago. Um, Normal is telling people you love them. Make it weird. That's what it said. I like that. That's, that's perfect. Make it weird. Tell everybody that you love them. If everybody started doing that, it would... It would be contagious. People would start doing it. They'd be like, well, it feels nice when somebody says it to me, so I'm going to say it to other people. That's part of the reason that I just try to spread love all the time. I try. I need to stress. I try. I stress. I, I fail at this regularly, but I put in that effort, and when I fail, I realize it. I recognize it, and I try to learn from that failure and try to move forward. That's, that's all I can do. That's all all of us can do is just be the best that we can be. Be the best version of ourselves that we can be. And yeah, like I said, I fail at that regularly. But I realize that and I try to improve on that. And that's that's where the success really lies for me is trying to better myself and slowly getting there. I'm slowly making progress as I learn lessons, as I fail and learn things the hard way. Yep. It's, and it's all documented on these videos, too. That's the funny part. Most of it is documented on these videos. You know when I'm not doing well. Um, but still, at the end of the videos, even if I'm doing not well, I'm usually doing pretty well at the end of the video, even if it's a 50-second video. That's why I do those 50-second videos. So, anyways. Also, I am by no means any sort of a professional or an expert on mental health or anything like that. I've gone through a lot of uh, ups and downs, a lot of downs in my life, a lot of tough times, so everyone has, but uh, that's all that I'm going on here. It's just my own experiences, so don't take this as fact or the only way. This is not the only way. 
It's just one of many ways. <laughs> the way that works for me. So anyways, um, down in this corner, I'm going to leave a link for the Pepper Apprentice, David Martin's channel. Go check it out. He's got good content, great content, reviews. Um, yeah, good stuff, good guy. I really appreciate him. So the Pepper Apprentice in this corner, Heat My Shorts in this corner, and two relevant playlists up here for you to enjoy. Have a great day, everyone. I love you all. Pass it on. We'll hang out again soon, I promise. This has been Heat My Shorts with Maggie and Steve, The Maggie Show. We'll hang out soon. I think I said that again. I think I'm saying that twice. Bye-bye.